Look at all of this. So let's see what I got from the honey hole. So if you missed a part one of this video, I share with you one of my favorite places to go picking, especially before we moved because now I am even farther away, but I did make it back and I had so much stuff I couldn't fit it in the truck and bring my family home. <laughs> so half of the stuff stayed back at my parents. And that is what I'm going to show you today. What I did bring with me is in part one. I will link that here and put it down in the description because you're not going to want to miss this place. I have a thing for sailboats and I think there was another um, picture in the video of me shopping that I meant to get and I must have just set it down. So I'm trying to hold this so you're not getting a whole bunch of glare, but I don't think that's gonna be possible. But I love, love, love the color scheme of this and I actually have another one. This one's actually sitting here close. Again, this one has gotten wet so you can kind of see it's running. But I mean, don't those look great? And then I have ombre gray on my wall there at the stairway. And I just painted, um, and that was Sherwin-Williams. And then I just painted farm to table in our mud room. And there really isn't wall space for artwork, but this coloring on either one of those wall colors Wow, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. My mom has probably like my great grandma's country sampler. And now I can't think of what it is. It's something about the Lord. I cannot remember what it says. This one says, welcome, all, welcome to all. And so I got it because I think that this might be something that I want to collect, these samplers. Um, the, there is a cut here in the glass, but that can be fixed if I want to. The frame is not perfect, but just look at the coloring. I love it. Again, I'm telling you, I am a neutral girl, but I'm art pops so much on colored walls. It I mean, clean, wow, it just but looks I'm probably just gonna so, leave it here so good. So I'm going to show you this against that wall too. But here's kind of the difference of it between the green wall and then the cream. Oh, this is one of those places that even if you see things with price tags on them, one, that doesn't mean that's what I paid for it. Two, that is not necessarily the price it's going to be to you because three, and most importantly, the prices on these things have absolutely no relevance. So just a disclaimer, I've been into first aid kits. This really held wood chisels and socket sets, but um, I have a, I think it's a blue and red, but again, you can command strip these or hang them, hang them. Most of them have hangers because they have been on a wall anyway. And just make a cute display of them. I've seen somebody had them in a bathroom. So I really like, um, have that idea. But you could put them in any room, any place that you had a little strip of wall. Just do a bunch of first aid kits. So I really like that. This scoop is definitely homemade with a license plate. They have a little like some wood piece. It's not even like symmetrical, um, but it must have served the purpose. And I just love it. So you could hang it on a wall like this with a couple nails and make this a little shelf platform for a figurine or something. You could lay it out. And I've shared this idea many times. It was in some magazine a scoop more normal scoop that's a little bit longer but they rolled up hand towels and had this sitting next to a sink with hand towels in it it looked awesome and then you could also just set it out i mean to me the back side is pretty cool so you could just you know have it on a shelf <laughs> my arm is the shelf and lean it i think that would be a cute display got some little things 
We got this receipt holder. This one's a little bit different. These are great for those um, tall, skinny uh, Christmas ornaments. You can just um, put them on there, like stand them up, and that holds it steady. I got this little, little lever action tin car. I just thought it was so cute. There were actually a couple of them, but I just let myself grab the one. Then there was a bunch of just bells. That one says, thinking of you. That's what this one says. This one is a little bit different style. It does have some etching on it and says, good luck. Good on one side, luck on the other. Another bell, thinking of you. I got a little funnel. This is a very unique safety pin. So I don't know if it would have been like a, oh, horse tack, a blanket pin, um, or if it would have gone maybe with locker baskets, but it's got a pretty sharp tip. So I think that it's probably for a horse blanket. This blue bucket, no handle, but I just loved it. Put a, a plant in it, roll up some washcloths, put your Dawn dish soap. Oh, I grabbed this little perfume bottle. It's a unique shape and it doesn't have the bulb piece, but I just thought the top of it was so neat. It's all, well, I think that middle piece might be plastic, but the petals are metal. I don't have any big funnels currently, I don't think. This one is dirty, but what I liked about it, it, it is so unique. I have never seen one that has this like extra ring around it. Um, and really, I probably haven't seen any with this pattern. So I just like that you can turn these in. I'm probably dumping dirt out onto my floor, but you can turn these into lights really easy. Ikea has some good light kits. Last I bought, you had to buy them in store, not online, but they have the little uh, switch on the cord. So literally all you do is put the bulb in there and plug it in and you're good to go. Right, this has a doggy pee pad on it. <laughs> so it must've been breakable. And it is a milk glass cake stand. I like risers that we've talked about that a lot. You can put a cloche on this. You can use it to put all of your perfumes, your um, makeup bottles, hair stuff, just to, to give a little bit of height variance and to feature it. You can put a cloche on top, lots of options. Ooh, this I need to take some nails out, but look at this um, column base. Great chippy paint on it. Again, you can use it um, under a cloche or you can use it just as a riser. I am always grabbing scale baskets. I don't know why. This one's definitely dirty. It's kind of tapered, so it's wider up here at top and skinnier at the bottom. It has a nice base, so you could put this in the center of your table, put greenery in it, some bunnies for Easter, some eggs, um, change it out for the seasons, do little uh, packages for Christmas or whatever. Um, or you could set it on a scale if you have. And then there is a one little hole here drilled because you can always drill some holes and add chain and use it as a hanging scale basket. Ooh, that with towels rolled up in it in the bathroom would be cute. Here is another scale basket. This one has been coated um, brass. This one is much lighter weight, but similar as far as it has the little pedestal so it will sit because sometimes they're just going to rock if they don't have that uh, base. Okay, I have a few things in paper. So even though it's only been like a week since I went, I've already forgotten what I got. Oh, I remember now. So this is like a blue flow. What does it say? Patent June 27 slash either 03 or 33. I don't know, I'll have, to, I'll have to examine it when I don't have my contacts in. It's called Old Woman Problems. There is a little chip right there. Um, old Woman Problems because I can't see with my contacts in, I can't see with my glasses on. Winning. And then I'm pretty sure this goes with that. 
So then we have this little bowl. I'm not even sure um, what it would have been for. Gravy, some kind of casserole because it has a little spot for a ladle. But how beautiful. Gosh. Brooke's got the shakes. And I pretty much just ate. I think that one chip on the platter is the only chip, but I'll really have to examine it. But it's just a beautiful... This says semi-porcelain tulip royal England. So this would be fun. It looks like all of like, well, they're not feet. But these things have the patent dates on it too. So I'll have to read a little bit more. But these would be really pretty. Take the lid off. You could set the lid like with the display or your vignette. Put some bulbs in there for spring. Some random pieces. We have this one, which is a fan cage, but it is just gorgeous. You could hang this on the wall, put Spanish moss in here, do some air plants or something. Fun repurpose. You could also set it down and put a cloche on it. Another repurpose. I just couldn't leave this behind. It's a little globe holder. So I have been to a couple stores that have globes with no stand. The likelihood that it's gonna marry together is not very high, but this would be fun. I think just setting out, you could just dangle something with some fishing wire, um, fishing line, down it and hang it and accentuate it. If you watched the last video, you probably saw that I dug out this dartboard. Um, I love it because it's got some good um, coloring and good darts. So you can use your darts like thumbtacks. So you could put little post-it notes, some little um, printed Polaroids and stab them into your dartboard and just use it for display and not even use it for darts. This little door cover and I grabbed a couple of Valentine's honeycomb pieces. Maybe just maybe I just got this one. Oh, I think I had that other one in the part one video. But any little vintage um, Valentine's is fun. And then my friend Jennifer was looking for a basket for her. Oh, that is gross in there. It's gonna take some, take some cleaning. Um, looking for a basket for her papers. Now this is way bigger, but I think you could probably do an eight and a half by 11 on this side and an eight and a half by 11 on this side. So you could have two stacks of your papers and it's just something different. It's made out of like, it, that's not really chicken wire. I um, can't think what kind of wire it is, but I think this is literally a homemade little basket and it's just cute. So totally something different. You could even just put it on your coffee table and corral some junk. I'm not supposed to be buying furniture, but I couldn't resist this three-seater. There are even hat racks on the bottom of each seat. Okay, that's it for part two of my picking the honey hole. Make sure you go and check out part one. And I do this every week. I go picking, sourcing, junking, whatever you want to call it, shopping. And then I share with you my haul as well. So make sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.